Hello guys, I am Ratnish Kathod and today I am going to show you how to make a python or json uh, dictionary. So this is the python code which I have used for a dictionary and this is the json database which I have the, uh, used for a uh, uh, respective output and uh, desired output. So in this python uh, code you can see here this is the whole thing which I have used for python. So now I will just let's see how the application is working so here i have just used the python 3 and after that just you have to type in terminal python 3 search.py and then after that it will ask you which term you want to search then i have just uh, add apple and it will be show me uh, different results uh, you can see there are three results now i have just a uh, type of type of uh, within uh, edit edit addition e that, uh, then it will be show nearby word and yeah, you can see this will be show result of apple so and it will when if, when i am going to search uh, any different term it will be show term is dot don't is exist and please double check it so this application will uh, work like this and so this is the python code now we are going to start with a <coughs> starting okay so in the start we uh, we have to add a uh, json first of all in our python so i have just to uh, import json okay and now uh, now after importing json we have to import our json file our json database file which you see in top db.json which you seen in top db.json so i have just stored that the json file in data variable which uh, within a uh, json dot load in bracket open or uh, in bracket uh, file name in uh, double com okay so db.json so uh, with this statement we have stored a uh, whole json file into data variable after this we have just a uh, define one uh, function for an uh, for an uh, retrieve the data from json database so here i have just taken the uh, w as a variable now i have just um, return the data in bracket w so it will be uh, it will be find w variable from the json data and and then it, uh, and then return that uh, output now i have just um, for that we have to uh, now i have creating input field and that input uh, that input input result will be saved in term variable okay so here you can see we have a created term variable we can input uh, enter term now after that we have to just print uh, translate and then uh, in the transfer we have to add uh, term instead of w okay so then uh, it will be uh, drag that term value to the w so now let's learn uh, run that code and we can see here we have a enter turn which uh, need input so we have to just uh, input anything which we have like so i have just entered apple in small uh, letter so you are here you can see we have a uh, data set of that json file where we have a three result okay so our set will be shown and it is working okay so now we have to just uh, make a uh, clarify that data and uh, make separate the whole different different uh, statement before that we have to just add one thing uh, you can see here when i was just to use the capital a it will be showing the error so for that we can uh, we can do one thing uh, we have to just add <coughs> after definition we have to add w equal to w dot lower so it will be uh, convert whole, uh, convert whole uh, value into lower case so this will be not this will be not given any error so now you can see here we have when i have just type capital it will work also. so now <coughs> let's just uh, start with an separating those things so so that we have to uh, store that translate term <coughs> definition into one variable so i'm going to just remove that print variable <coughs> so 
but before uh, <coughs> but before we have to just add one thing so in that one thing we have to we have to define uh, if the data will be uh, not in our store and then what will happen so here you can see i have just code that thing where, where i have just adding that if else secure uh, if else uh, condition that is uh, uh, if w in data then only this uh, this result will be written otherwise it will be written that term is doesn't exist and anything you can do you want to add them Okay. So this will be uh, this will be uh, show that uh, if if search term it will be not in our data set then it will be show this kind of result. Okay. Otherwise it will be print our result. So now uh, let's just. Uh, organize that result which I have uh, talked earlier so here I have just out here I have just uh, store translate term into output variable and then if then if uh, if the type uh, if the type output has uh, anything has any uh, list or any set of value then it will be it will be uh, run the for loop and in that for loop it will be print one by one uh, result one by one statement okay so here i am just uh, printing whole items from the out from the output and otherwise if if it, if, ever, if, if it has a single value then it will be print directly the terminal okay so you can see if uh, it will be direct print print in bracket out so now just let let look how it will be show here we could see the errors okay so um, yeah here is the one, one error i have just a forgot t so like this control c run again so here is give another error which is equal to okay so here we have syntax error yeah uh, so whenever you uh, type and list when you compare you have to add on uh, double equal to and now we have just to run it will run without any error so now just enter in term apple and it will be you can see here we have a whole different different result in a different different line okay so in the first uh, in output you can see there is a, a whole data set and yet we have a retrieved whole different different statements okay and also we can check that if anything if Said that it will be show the term does not exist. Okay, so these two things are working now. And let's see with an uh, which here you can see when I am going to just uh, add apple with an extra e, then it will also show the term does not exist. Okay, so now we have to just uh, set one thing for that whenever any nearby word are input in the dictionary then it, it, it has to show the nearby result okay so for that we have to import one thing that is a uh, diff library so it will this different different uh, this diff library uh, has an a uh, has an a uh, capability to compare the two words okay and uh, and compare the two close matches so here we have a import uh, different uh, get close matches from the in different library okay so after that we have to just uh, we have to just add some 
support in our uh, definition of the uh, translate public so in that we have a add else else statement where i have uh, where i have just to compare the inputted uh, value and data set value okay so here you can see i have a get those names the blue data keys whether the zero and it will be uh, it will be stored here i have just take answer okay. so this answer will be so this function will be uh, run uh, only and only when when any when any any uh, any term will be close match to our database any term then then only this uh, function uh, this condition will be executed okay so in this in this condition you have uh, user have to input with an preview so here in this uh, here in this percentage s uh, and So in this statement, you can see here in the last we have a uh, get close matches w dot uh, w comma data dot key okay and it will be take uh, zero value from the array and it will be uh, push that value in our module as okay so after that we have to just add an uh, condition if answer will be y and then we have to return the desired result which is close that match and after that he will type and then we have to save so we will come back any data from database okay so for the return for the print of the uh, of the close match have uh, written here data in, uh, in square bracket get close match w uh, key and zero so this will be same as before but this thing will be get the closest term of input of term now we have So when we need to print and we will be, uh, return the term that exist. Okay. So yeah. And if we if user will be input any kind of other things instead of by and and then also we have to just uh, add one return statement that you have a uh, enter. Yeah. Before that, I have just forgot one thing. I have to add colon after the default statement. So in else, I have to just delete and um, we can say we don't understand.
now if let's just tell on that for here i have just entered apple and it will be shown in the result and after that i have just added apple with an extra head and it will be it will be show me that it will be apple instead of instead then i have just entered y and it will be shown in the result what if i am going to enter and it will be show me the error and you can see that error does not exist I am going to just enter anything that is going to be shown in the top. That's not like this. So you can see this is the whole thing which is the work within this Python code. You can you can get this Python code from the below. Okay. So if you have any query and questions and if you did understand anything from my speech and also so. Please comment down below and thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So thank you guys.